Hey guys, this will be a quick tutorial on how to get your uh, Teensy working as a USB keyboard. A couple things you're going to need to download. First thing is the uh, keyboard file from uh, pgrc.com. Next you're going to need the uh, Teensy loader. This is for downloading the code to the Teensy. <coughs> so, after you've downloaded it, uh, you're going to want to open example.c. You're not going to want to touch uh, USB keyboard.c or USB keyboard.h. And we're going to need to edit the uh, make file in a second. <coughs> so you open example.c. Down here is what you're going to want to edit, depending on what you want your program to do. Um, all the documentation for that is going to be on their website. Uh, under on the side here under code library and then USB keyboard they give all the documentation on how to uh, modify your code and there's some examples here and if you get stuck or if you don't know exactly what to do just read through all this and uh, it should give you a pretty good idea of how the code is supposed to work so after you've done that, after that you're going to want to Come over to your make file, come down to the MCU name, and you're going to need to know what TNC you have. For me, it's the TNC++ 2.0, and I have make sure all the others are commented out um, so that it compiles correctly for my TNC. Uh, next, you're going to want to open your terminal, uh, CD to the directory that uh, you downloaded the... Um, keyboard files. This is the directory that I downloaded to. So I've just uh, cd to that and let me zoom in a bit. Okay. Um, and all you need to type is uh, make and it'll compile and this will generate a hex file. Next you're going to want to come over to the TNT loader find the hex file that you just compiled. It should be called example.hex download it to the TNC and then just reboot the TNC to run the program. Okay. So it probably was kind of hard to see what just happened. Um, if we come over here to my uh, home directory I'll come down and there's a new folder called hacker and there's nothing in it. So if we come back to the code, so all this did was open um, Finder by pressing and holding com the command key and then pressing the spacebar, and then I typed in uh, terminal and hit enter. Then after the terminal was open, it typed mkdir space hacker, and boom, there's the file. And then it uh, quit the terminal by pressing and holding Command Q and just quit it. This is really just a proof of concept to show how, after I'm at the terminal, I can really have it do anything I want. <clears throat> I can have it do something malicious or automate a command that I need to do over and over again. Um, so, if you guys want to try this out for yourself, you can download it here at the main website. Uh, take a run with it, see what you can come up with. If you uh, manage to make up a cool script, send me a message. I'll be happy to take a look at it. You can find the code that I used over at um, a link in the description. Uh, you guys probably know this website if you have a TNC already. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.